The word defibrillator for today, we, hopefully we're going to kickstart your day, with a word from within the word. It just came to me today that uh, I tend to say, and I hear others say this, is do not be ruled by your feelings. But that is, for me, scripturally incorrect. No, it is. Well, let me read just one scripture, and I'm sure there's many others. Colossians 3.15. In the Amplified Version, is, And let the peace, soul harmony, which comes from Christ. Now, it says, and let. So, what did it say before that, that this is an extension of what was said? Verse 13. Be gentle and forbearing with one another. That's a feeling. Forbearing, that's a feeling. And if one has difference, a grievance, or a complaint against another, readily pardoning one another, even as the Lord has freely forgiven you, so must you also forgive. Those are feelings. I have a grievance against you. Above all of these, put on love and enfold yourselves with the bond of of perfectness, 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 <laughs> bond of perfectness, which binds everything together completely in ideal harmony. Those are all feelings. And now here's the main one. And let the peace, soul harmony, which comes from Christ, rule, act as umpire continually in your hearts. Deciding and settling with finality all questions that arise in your minds. In that peaceful state to which, as members of Christ's one body, you were also called to live. And be thankful, appreciative, giving praise to God always. It says, allow the feeling in your heart, which is peace, to rule over decisions that we have in our minds. That's all about feeling. Now, if we go and look what feeling actually means, feeling means the one of the basic physical senses of which the skin contains the chief end organism, I get cold shivers, of which the sensation of touch and temperature are characteristic, a sensation experienced through the sense, generalized bodily consciousness or sensation. An emotional state or reaction. Hmm. The undifferentiated background of one's awareness, considered apart from any in defi uh, definable sensation, perception, or thought. The overall quality of one's awareness, conscious recognition. It's be aware. Take note. How does that feel in your heart? If it has peace, it is of God. What we mustn't do is allow our emotions to control our decisions. A conscious mental reaction, such as anger or fear, subjectively experienced as a strong feeling, usually directed towards a specific object and typically accompanied by physiological and behavioral changes in the body. Hmm. So there we go, that feelings of peace are what we need to focus on to rule over decisions that we need to have in our, in our mind. But we cannot allow our emotions to make decisions. And boy, have I done that. If I've got upset, if I've taken a grievance on somebody else's behalf, have I done that? Boy, have I done that. Yes, I have. I have indeed. When I take an offense on your behalf, or I take an offense on God's behalf, where I get upset because somebody has been offended. Now, that is an emotion. And then I react accordingly, and I say it or do the wrong things. No. You see, it's the peace of God that rules in my heart over every decision that I have in my mind. It's that state. A soul rest assured of its salvation. It comes. It's a soul harmony which comes from Christ. And it acts as an umpire continually in my heart. Hmm. So feelings are good. Feelings are okay. 
just don't allow them to escalate to a place where emotionally you are making decisions out of fear or out of anger. Heavenly Father, I pray this as a prayer. Let the peace, soul harmony which comes from Christ, rule and act as umpire continually in our hearts, deciding and settling with finality all questions that arise in our minds. Father, those questions of, am I going to get healed? Is my son going to be rescued? Is my daughter going to be safe? Are you going to look after me and my finances? Are we going to have a good Christmas? Father, all those questions. Do I have a future? What is my worth? What is my value? Am I loved? Do I have any value in this world? Am I ever, ever going to get through this? Father, those are questions that just continually tick by. I'm tired. Can't even lift my arms. How could I ever go on? Father, peace. I pray for that peace. That surpasses all understanding. To guard our hearts and our minds this morning. To settle with finality in our hearts. And Father, you've got this. We don't need to know those answers. As to where it's coming from. And how it's going to happen. Father, just to settle with finality in our minds. That it's coming. That it will happen. And Father, you never take away to give us less. Father, you work with addition and multiplication. Hmm not subtraction and division. So we thank you, Father, for focus on the fact that you are in total and absolute control. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.